Just a quick little video to talk about how to inexpensively and faithfully restore holes in an old hardwood floor. So I'm helping out at a restaurant that has had many lives and there's just holes all throughout the dining room and the kitchen and everything. And I wouldn't want to just patch them with garbage wood. I want to patch it with similar 1920s lumber. Well, I happen to have some 1890s lumber, but that'll definitely do. First, you get yourself a neat little hole drilling set, but you don't pay full price. See, I went to eBay and I looked up the cheapest ones and I found that this was one that somebody returned. Looks like maybe they messed, messed up one of the bigger bits, but who cares about that? And I think I got this for like nine or eight dollars free shipping, which is a really good deal when they're like twenty dollars brand new. And it's effectively the same thing. If I really need, I can just kind of push it really hard and make it work. So that's pretty cheap. And then previously I'd salvaged these pieces of wood. These were flooring from an 1890s building that at first glance didn't look very promising, but boy, do they clean up nice. In fact, this one's so nice. I'm going to save that to make a picture frame out of it. But these ones will be a nice sturdy material and we can cut holes through it. Now, if you don't have a drill press, like I have two back in Illinois, but load, load of good that does me when it's a 16 hour drive away from them. So first you get a piece of scrap wood and you drill the hole with the drill bit to keep it centered. Then with that out, you remove the drill bit. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of wood that, I'll start with the piece of wood that's a little bit worse for wear and then we can, if we make any mistakes, that'll be fine. Now if I had clamps, I would use clamps, but those are at home and this is just simple enough that I can just do this like this. And that's how we get a nice little plug. A little hard to get out of there, but it's a little hot too. Now you see this one, I didn't drill straight, so I, pro I would have rather had a drill press for this, but oh well. But here's, you're gonna come into, you're gonna run into the next issue with this. Whoever drilled those holes in your flooring most likely had the exact same size set that you do. And so there's gonna be a considerable gap, whatever the gap is between these right, right here and you have to fill that in quite a bit but you could foreseeably get around that by if you use metric you could buy an imperial hole drilling set and if you use imperial you could get a metric hole drilling set and then maybe there'd be a better chance that some of them would have an otter size to where maybe like a, a 25 millimeter hole saw would drill one for a one inch or whatever uh, plug so that could be a way around that for cheap The reason I go up and down is so that it doesn't clog, it doesn't clog these low quality teeth. Man, I'm so glad I didn't spend 20 bucks on this set and I got it for so cheap because, boy, is it cheap. Painfully cheap.
having a bit of an issue of the little one overheating. So I only made, well, half of one, but it'll actually work perfectly fine as a plug. I need to make a few more, but, well, we have a few. This is a good start, you know? Now, the stuff I like to use is this plastic wood, professional wood filler from DAP. And I've actually found a surprisingly, like, I've had really good luck with this. It's worked really well so far. And I've been able to get it to last a little bit longer because I put it in the freezer when I'm not using it. I just took it out of the freezer. And I have this little trowel thing that I cleaned up. Found this in the trash. It had plaster and concrete all over it and then tar too. And hopefully that should be enough to allow us to put these into the flooring. And it should be strong enough at least as strong as the original flooring that's there, especially when we put polyurethane over it later. Now, the restaurant usually has a lot of music going, and especially at this point when it's like an hour before they open, they're gonna have pretty loud music. And so I'm probably not gonna show any of the audio for this because the, uh, you know, the employees deserve their music, but it's also not compatible with YouTube. I'm going to insert this video clip in the middle of this video because I didn't feel like complaining about it at the time, but you know, I probably should have. I picked all that junk out of that hole in the floor and I hit something hard. And so I got my knife out and just started cracking away at it and I popped it out with the screwdriver. And it was like the cap to a perfume bottle. And, and there was just more garbage further down in the hole in the floor. They, yeah, the previous, like whoever the landlord hired stuffed garbage down in the holes and put foam over it to seal the floor. And so I put, I made a, a well, I made a bunch of plugs. I only put one in, but then I, I sealed it in with this. And, but yeah, it was literally garbage in the hole. Well, no wonder it doesn't, no wonder it was falling apart. And back in the freezer, this goes. At this part of the video, I just went into the basement to finish some staining of the doors, and then I used some of the extra finish and some of the extra stain to do this. And that's how you restore a wood floor for cheap using mostly reclaimed materials and stretching what materials you have to buy as far as they can go. No wonder I'm getting pretty good business out here because I do this with almost found materials. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Oh, and they have a lot of customers in the in in there today. So I, only, I was only able to do that one. Some people came early. It's good for them though because this place is absolutely hopping. There's so many people that come here and it's funny that it's almost it, it's almost difficult to get into the building when there's not customers here it's a good problem to have i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya there's a bunch of people over there that keep like i was trying to say are they yelling at me no anyway <laughs>